Halloween Kills wasn't as bad as I expected it to be given a lot of the reviews, but it probably is mistitled. Instead of Halloween Kills, it should be called Halloween, The Return of John Wick, or Michael Wick, his brother, the brother of John Wick. If you've seen the movie and the body count and the close-up montage of him killing everyone at the end, you'd understand what I mean. The acting, the script, and even the cinematography are much duller and a little bit more phoned in than 2018's movie, but there are also things that I like about it that put it pretty close with it, even though that film's probably a little bit stronger overall. These kills, and now wing kills, are definitely more grisly and gory. There's also some nice speculation on the nature of the shape, which is an interesting conversation, but it's a little rushed. The mob mentality subplot is fascinating, but ultimately underserved with a climax that should be more epic than it really is. It definitely feels like the 2018 movie got extended here. It, it feels like a tagged on ending, so it can feel a little aimless. They could be edited into one movie, honestly. But there's some nice character moments for the older actors, which make it worth it. It's kind of ironic, because the original Halloween 1 and 2 probably could have been one movie as well. There's a lot more horror tropes that pop up here with characters that make laughably bad, stupid decisions. But that's the genre and its stereotypes for you. 2018 is scarier, and the original was better constructed and scarier. But this one was thrilling in its own way, given the uniqueness of the approach. The concept was stronger than the execution overall, though. As you guys can probably tell by now, I'm not the biggest fan of horror movies, but this has been fun diving into a new series. I know a lot of what happens ahead of time spoiler-wise because I still don't care, but the journey is fresh for me. As a Christian, I find it hard to find these as crowd-pleasing as I should. There is a certain satisfaction in them, but I'm always rooting for the characters. Of course, I know people that root for the killer too and laugh. Luckily, the Halloween films seem to be more than that. They seem to be a commentary on psychology, uh, what is evil, and all of these things. So when it comes to this one, I hope they find a balance for Halloween ends between 2018 Kills and the original 1978 one, because I feel like that would make a perfect horror film. There are elements of all of them that work really, really well. The crowd-pleasing nature of this one, and in just terms of this plot being more engaging, shocking nature of the kills in 2018, and pretty much anything else about the original combined would be incredible. Not sure if it was because I watched this on Peacock and not having subtitles, but the audio mixing was way off. It was just bad. And I'll leave with the best part, John Carpenter's score. It's the best film music I've heard in some time when I watched this and probably one of the greatest horror scores to ever put to film besides the original. Halloween with emotional strings and a Stranger Things undertone is just perfection. I give Halloween Kills three out of five stars. There are so many of these movies, but we're getting right through them. Follow me on Letterboxd. Look forward to content coming soon. What is your favorite Halloween movie? Are you excited for Halloween ends? Any theories going on in your head there? Remember, always look for the good.